Hi, I'm Brian Monte, Strategic Account Manager for Omron in the Detroit market. Today in this video, I'll be showing you a demonstration of our Traceability 4.0 experience here at our Detroit Proof of Concept Center in Novi, Michigan. Today as part of our Traceability 4.0 demonstration, we're going to treat our Detroit Proof of Concept Center like a mini manufacturing experience. We're going to move from station to station or machine to machine, creating an assembly, and in the end we're going to have a customized giveaway that we would typically give to our guests. So the first step in our traceability experience is going to be interfacing with our custom kiosks that we've created for customers. So the first thing I'm going to do is create an order. I'm going to type my name into the system. I'm going to enter my order. I'm going to make a decision if I want a laser mark to customize my part. I'm going to click yes. And I'm going to select from one of my three giveaway options, and I'm going to choose the bottle opener. Uh, we can see now that we've started a, a date and a timestamp. Uh, I got my customer information. I'm going to click place my order. And now our V275 Zebra system with inline verification from Omron is going to create our custom label as part of the tracking process. So now I'm going to peel our label off the V275 system and I'm going to take it over to our mobile robot assembly station. And the next step of our demonstration today, we're going to take the custom label that was printed with our V275 Zebra printer system. It's going to have all our tracking information loaded both in 1D and 2D barcode. We're going to place that label on our fixture plate on our mobile robot. Uh, so our mobile robot is going to run in manual mode today using our Omron wireless push button system, but we could also run this in an automatic mode. So now I'm going to push our wireless push button to move our mobile assembly to station one. So now we've arrived at station one, which is our Omron TM collaborative robot station. Uh, so we're using and displaying our Omron Indusoft Aviva uh, data collection software to give visualization to the traceability. Uh, we can see on the screen now that we've chosen the bottle opener as part of the application in the giveaway. And we can also show on the display that we're at station one and we'll be tracking all the information as the rest of the process goes on. Uh, right now I'm going to push the start button to run the TM and the TM is actually going to pick and load the fixture plate for the bottle opener giveaway. Uh, first it is going to use our TM landmark feature so it can pick its orientation and make sure it grabs and places in an accurate pick location. So the camera on board is reading the TM landmark feature. It's calibrated its position and now it will grab the fixture plate to load it onto the mobile assembly. Obviously we can see here the system is extremely intelligent. It's chosen the right giveaway that was originally put into the kiosk and it's going to load it into the fixture plate for the next phase of the assembly. So as I mentioned, we completed station one successfully. So we're gonna use our wireless push button again to advance to station two and press the button for it to move to the next stage in the process. So on our trip over, I'm seeing on our Indusoft screen that we are now advanced to station two in our visualization software. We've successfully arrived at station two, which features our Any Feeder flexible feed solution. This system features our pick and place robot, our integrated vision, and our flex feeder, which replaces a traditional bowl feeder. Uh, we're gonna sort and separate the parts so we can pick the right part with the robot and place it into the fixture plate. 
And now I'm going to start the cycle of the antifeeder solution. If you'll notice here, we're also reading long-range RFID with our V750 solution with the RFID tag off the fixture plate. Now that I start the cycle, it's going to pick our proper part with the solution. And there you have it. All right, now that we've arrived at station three, which features our SysMAC control platform, as well as our torque assembly station, I have uh, preloaded our bottle opener, which was our choice for our giveaway, into the fixture plate. We're gonna show off uh, torquing down and how we capture those values into our Indusoft system. So I'm just gonna start here by reading my barcode to initiate the torque gun. I'm gonna grab my torque gun here and start to torque my bolts down. One complete. And our sixth one complete. So that completes our torque assembly portion of this station. So an important piece of our SysMac platform is the ability to communicate uh, to the devices. So our SysMac machine automation controller with our Intel chipsets in partnership give us the essential capability of a PC and the power of a PLC type footprint. Uh, so this gives us the ability to interface to Microsoft software systems and device level systems like barcode readers, RFID, uh, vision systems, robots, mobile robots. So uh, having these devices scattered throughout your plant, uh, the important piece is the ability to take that data out of those devices, seamlessly communicate those, and take those to an enterprise or a visualization software so we capture predictive maintenance, downtime, or maybe OEE data efficiently. So we've completed station three. Again, we're gonna use our wireless push button and advance and move on to station four. We've arrived at station four, which is our quality and traceability device station. So we're gonna take our completed assembly fixture here. We're actually gonna load it into our quality check station. Uh, so we're actually gonna use our FH camera system to do quality checks that we're displaying on our monitor here to make sure all the washers, all the proper bolts and everything are in place and we've picked the correct assembly. Uh, we're also gonna use our MV430 to do some code reading 2D code and 1D code off of our label as an additional quality check. Uh, in addition, we also feature in our V780 long range RFID and we'll again be reading our tag data off this fixture uh, and making sure we have a good quality completed assembly. So we've completed station four, our quality and traceability station. Now I'm gonna advance it to station five. So we've arrived at station five, which is our final station where we're featuring our MXZ fiber laser marker. Uh, at this station, we're gonna do a personalization and mark the giveaway. So right now I'll actually load the fixture plate into the fiber laser. I'm gonna close the door here. I'm gonna push the start button. We'll be customizing a personalized mark. Usually takes about 10 or 12 seconds to mark the part. All right, we've completed our mark. I'm gonna open the door here and actually unload the fixture plate. We have a successful mark, actually has my name on it, and that will complete our assembly process. 
All right, now that we've completed a successful assembly, we actually have the ability to generate and print a printed version with our kiosk of the report and all the data that we captured in this traceability system throughout, all the timestamp data, the device data, the predictive maintenance data, everything we captured with the Indusoft Aviva a solution during this process will be able to print you out a report of your complete assembly. So now that we've completed our assembly, we're gonna send the mobile off so he can go charge and he's finished his work for today. This concludes our Traceability 4.0 experience demonstration at the Detroit Proof of Concept Center. I hope today you gained a better understanding of how Omron traceability products might benefit you. Thank you for watching.